Yo, what's going on everybody? This is David and today I'm going to be doing a review of the 8-Bit Do Ultimate Controller. This is the newest revision with the Hall Effect joysticks. The previous revision that you've probably seen videos about did not have any Hall Effect joysticks. You actually had to buy the more expensive $70 version which had Bluetooth and more features actually than this controller. It is technically a little bit better than this controller and you can still buy that controller but, and I forgot the name of it, but that is not an Xbox style controller. This one actually has an Xbox style input layout right here and you have an option at the back here to either pick X input or D input. So you can actually use these back paddles right here if you wanted to. I've been using it for a couple months now. I played a lot of games on it and while it's not perfect and it actually does have some stick draft, I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. I think the controller overall is a great buy if you're looking at a budget controller right now. All right, so starting with the included charging dock, which is actually a big plus that it's included in the first place. This dock doesn't suck either. It's really easy to take the controller off of it and put it back in. There isn't any guesswork. You literally just plop it in and it self aligns and starts charging as well as automatically disconnects from your PC when in docked mode and connects when you take it out of the dock. At the bottom of the dock is the wireless 2.4 gigahertz receiver, but you can just leave it in the dock since the dock has passed through, which is another nice added bonus. Looking at the controller itself, it's got that classic asymmetrical thumbstick design that Xbox is known for, which may or may not be for everyone. But personally, I do think it is more comfortable for single player games, but it's not as precise as symmetrical, which is better in my opinion for multiplayer FPS shooter games, like the DualSense controller, for example. The overall shape of the controller is about the same, give or take, as the DualSense, but it is a little bit lighter and has a Nintendo Switch type of controller layout or design rather. I still find, however, that the Xbox wireless controller is more comfortable, but the Ultimate does feel more high quality than the Xbox does, and the buttons and triggers are nothing special either. They feel pretty similar to the Xbox controller. They're, they're tactical, but they do have a little bit of moosh to them. The D-pad is, I would say, the mushiest feeling, but the layout is pretty good for fighting games. I personally don't really feel Play fighting games but it's good for that that center button with the ring light around it is the main button and you can turn off or turn on the controller it also acts as the xbox kind of official button where you can pull up xbox game bar or in my case steam big picture mode now to the joysticks they claim it has how effect joysticks and i have no reason not to believe them but there is stick drift even when I first started using this controller, it's definitely not severe or anything, but playing Call of Duty and putting the dead zone to zero, you can see that there is a very slight stick drift. To get rid of all the stick drift, I have to put the dead zone to three. There is a software that you can download for this controller that lets you calibrate it, which did help, but ultimately, no pun intended, the controller started stick drift again. But like I said, it's not severe. It's like a very, very small amount. And the joysticks at least feel very responsive. And I would say the overall controller and its buttons, I didn't really experience any delay in button presses or anything like that. The input response was really snappy and pretty much felt like a wired controller. And this is probably due to the 2.4 gigahertz receiver, which is the same frequency that wireless gaming mice use. And I would say it's generally better than Bluetooth. Other than the stick drift issue, I feel like this is an excellent purchase for the price it's being sold at. I mean, you get the controller with Hall Effect joysticks, you get the dock, you get the wireless receiver. That's a pretty good deal, I'm not gonna lie. And the entire experience of using the controller has been flawless. I've not had any disconnects or issues with recognition to Windows. So yeah, I definitely recommend this purchase. If you would like to buy this for yourself, go ahead and click the affiliate link in the description below. And uh, just so you know, I have not been paid or contacted by the company. I bought this controller myself from Amazon. 
Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.